red, violet, sand blue. Roger's got a big head and he's a massive bellend. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where to go with this one. Thank Goodness You're Here is a cosy comedy game set in the northern town of Barnsworth. I think loosely based off Barnsley when you look at the end credits. You're a travelling salesman sent to visit the mayor of the town on business. Faced with an ungodly weight, you decide to go wandering and end up in a bit of a one small favour style run of quests to help the locals with their issues. The game just came out, like 1st of August just came out, and it's got a wide cast of fully voiced northern characters with some vocal legends tucked in such as Matt Berry. Uh, the whole experience lasted around two hours for me and for the most part it felt more like an interactive movie or a cartoon. Not in the Telltale Games way or the Dark Pictures anthology way. It's hard to pin down. There's some elements of puzzle solving and platforming, but for the most part there's no real inherent challenge. If you walk around long enough, you'll, you'll find where you need to go. The whole experience hinges off you enjoying the writing and the humour, which is incredibly well done. I found the game really funny. If you're not from the UK, some of the jokes might be lost on you. It's very, you know, at Nerf Yorkshire. Though, if you're from the UK, all of the jokes will land, and I found it bloody hilarious. Barnsworth as a town has a few repeating areas, and there's some wonderful animation and voice work to really bring the town to life. A lot of time you'll see these areas often, and rarely did it feel like a slog going back to them. In fact, a lot of times things had changed, or there was more dialogue or more jokes to listen to. There's quite a few jokes that build up and up and up for the punchline as the game goes on, and it weirdly fits the format well. It's the type of game where I can't really show you everything as it'd just be a long play at that point. Uh, it's a very one and done type of game. If I gave any spoilers, you'd have no reason to play the game. From a setting and gameplay point of view, the town of Barnsworth felt very 80s, 90s Northern, with a whole host of very Northern, very funny characters. You've got the usual archetypes you'd see in every small town in England, your louty hooligans, men from the pub who can't really speak proper English, I've got an uncle like that. Huge gammons walking around, the flamboyantly loud butchers and pie makers, you've got old Marge who runs the local chippy. Now then Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money in till. No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Suit yourself. A whole cast of very how's your mam getting on type of characters. At the beginning of the game you can set the UI to reflect that you're right northern and it will switch all the language to match. The humour is very David Firth or the guy on TikTok who says Fries a lot and there's even some weirdly eldritch themes at times that echo things like hot fuzz. I found it quite enjoyable as a surprise. The human writing in general was very well done and it kept me playing the game. I found it very enjoyable. From a gameplay standpoint, you're funneled around various different odd jobs in town, from helping a repairman fix his tools to getting ingredients for Big Ron's pies. You move around, there's some light platforming, but otherwise it's just using a contextual slap button to get people to speak or interact with the environment. A lot of the gameplay comes down to either slapping things or having some rather unique controls for certain mini-games. The gameplay isn't the strongest part of the game at all. Uh, the feeling of what's coming next or what's going to happen if I push this shiny button that sort of intrinsic motivation keeps you playing. The character's designed in such a way where he's basically pint-sized and that in itself lends to some of the options and humour available. There's points where you get stuck in hoses or attached to fish hooks and it's quite funny. There's plenty of gags available. What have we got here then? A towel in the owl. Don't worry little fella, I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. <laughs> When we look at the graphics and sound design, the animation is very well done. It's got that feeling of a lost Cartoon Network show like Gumball, Steven Universe or Regular Show. There's some huge caricatures of different stereotypes, very beautiful backgrounds, some rather smooth transitions between gameplay and fully cartoon cutscenes. It very much looks like an interactive cartoon episode and as the gameplay is quite simple, it's a big point that it looks and sounds amazing, it's definitely worth experiencing. There's some lovely soundtracks throughout your adventure with trumpets and string instruments, some cracking voice work and some very lovely SFX. If I was to pick out a few moments to demonstrate, uh, look here.
That is a fine statement. My wife could let a thing I'll do. Yeah, look at that! Not that one, huh? <laughs> The game is very cosy in its approach and it does feel like just a nice walk around town, like it's got that going for it. I definitely found it relaxing to play, I found it very funny, it was decent. As I said previously in the video, I don't really want to spoil the story by going in too much detail, but this short romp involves a salesman coming to town and getting roped into a load of hijinks. The world funnels you towards your different objectives. This next section of the video, I'm going to spoil the first quest of many, so you know, don't feel like there's too much going on here. Uh, the first quest involves helping a man get some butter to lube his hand up and get it unstuck. Of course, to get into the butter shop, you have to help a locksmith at the pub before the workers can get in. Well, to help him, you need to sort out the kegs in the pub. The beer's gone flat. By the time you fix that, he's gone to the butter shop, and from there, you can help the man get his arm unstuck. And we'd got stuck in the first place looking for a tuppence, and you've got that whole, you know, all British Tuesday kind of humour going on. The rest of the game's chapters follow a similar route of getting you to deal with someone's issues by dealing with a hundred other issues at the same time. Your character's completely unvoiced, and as mentioned before, he is the size of a small toddler, so you can see where the hilarity might ensue going through people's chimneys, getting caught in pipes, that sort of thing. There's one point where you get caught in a slice of gammon and things get really strange. Ah! Do you know how glue is made? I do. I found out when I was only seven years old. After me mum went lame. Mother took it to the knackers that very same time. I was scarcely three years old. My father, mistaking me for a small cut of venison, hung me out in smokehouse. It was nearly a day dangling all the embers before my sisters found me. By then, I was already stricken with a black lung. The doctor said I shan't let you see my twelfth summer. And I wept. One dark winter's night, my father brought me and my sisters a lamb each, and put a single sheep knife between us. Mine, the run for the land. There's a great climax to the game where the townsfolk all rope you into a big sequence before you get back to the town hall. Now again, I can't really spoil this or it just invalidate the experience. I think it's a good romp. I saw some bits off TikTok of all places that maybe want to buy the game and as said before, I finished it in around two hours. I'd recommend getting it on sale but not necessarily avoiding the experience if you can't get it on sale. While the gameplay was simple and at a few moments repetitive, the overall experience was very fun, very funny and full of jokes such as this one. The characters were good fun and it was great piecing together their own individual stories as time went on in the town. While it does have this cartoony, quite simple presentation, it's definitely not a child's game and there's quite a lot of adult humour in there. There's a couple of twists and turns but at its core it's a fun little movie game and I did enjoy my time with it. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 as an experience and probably a 4 out of 10 as an actual game, it's not really that interactive. Though it does have my seal of approval just for the amount of innuendo alone. Over and out Smooth Brains. Well, what do you normally have your pie at home, lad? Well, usually the pie is big enough on its own. Big enough? Uh, oh, uh, look, uh. please, don't make a fuss. Big enough? No, love, I won't have it. Not under my roof, not on my dinner table. Love, please. I really didn't mean anything by it. You shut your mouth! Oh, damn! And you can shut it and all. No daughter of mine is going with a big pie, man. <laughs>